Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Julie and I post videos focused on affordable drugstore makeup. Today I am starting another series, like I'm still going to be continuing my series with the e.l.f. new classics, but I wanted to, you know, have another palette that I'm doing looks with so I don't get tired of just using the e.l.f. one all the time, but the Wet n Wild Always Blushing. I wanted to start a series using this palette doing multiple different looks just like I'm doing with the e.l.f. the new classics palette. I just feel like this palette kind of gets forgotten about at the drugstore and it's such a good palette. It's one of those hidden gems. I went ahead and primed my eyelids off camera. I just used the Milani eyeshadow primer. So first I'm gonna go in with this shade here in this palette and I'm just using a blending brush that I got out of an Amazon brush set. So I will link that brush set down below. It's a really nice high quality brush set that is not very expensive. I love all the brushes in the set so I highly recommend it. Then I'm going to take this shade down here and the Sigma E45. Just kind of get the shadow on the side of the brush there like that. Tap off the excess and then I'm going to lightly like place the pointy part like right into the crease or maybe just like slightly above and just kind of lightly blend back and forth. This brush is really good for creating like a shadow there with your crease. So if you have hooded eyes, you could like take the little point and blend it like above there to create like a shadow to make your crease seem like it's a little bit higher up. Then for the brow bone, I'm gonna use this matte cream and the e.l.f. defining eye brush. Tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to put it right here on the brow bone. Then I'm just going to go in with a flat shader brush. This is just a small concealer brush from Wet n Wild. Tap off the excess, just using that same light cream, and I'm going to put that shade all over the eyelid. Then for the eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this really deep purplish black color and I'm just getting it on the edge of a angled liner brush. This is from Essence and then I'm going to mist the brush with a makeup setting spray. Now I was just using MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to line the eye. If you don't like winged eyeliner, you could just do something simple, just like that, and be done. But if you want to take this look up a notch, or if your eyes look good with a wing, just going to do a light wing out here. And I've showed you this trick before, but if you are not good at doing winged eyeliner, you can use some, you can use a tool like the shadow shield to help you get like a crisp edge. You could even put some scotch tape down, but if you haven't seen like shadow shields before, they just look like this. So you would place it here and then it's going to help you get a much more like crisp edge. It has like you know, adhesive on the back when you peel off the, the paper there. So, but I just wanted to freehand this today. And then I'm taking this other angled liner brush. This one's a little bit thicker. It also came in that Amazon brush set, has a spoolie on the opposite side. And I'm getting a little bit more of that dark purple there. And I'm just going to go on the top of the liner and just kind of soften up the edge. It 
this is just gonna hide any like mistakes that you might have had with the eyeliner and just give it like a more soft effect. So I went ahead and did my foundation and filled in my brows off camera. So I'll link the products that I use down below. And before I finish out the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup. So first I'm going to go ahead and bronze up and I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer. And this is in the shade Deep Bronzer. I am going to have to add a little bit more bronzer today because this foundation shade that I use... <laughs> used I think it's slightly a little bit too light for me um it's like I wear a lot of sunscreen on my face and neck so my face and neck they're quite a bit lighter than the rest of my body um just because like with my body I usually don't use as high of a SPF um but this was the foundation that I used I have not used this in such a long time the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and I use the shade in 1-2. So I probably need the step up from this, but I don't know. I feel like my coloring is kind of in that weird stage right now where like some of my darker foundations are kind of too dark, but then my lighter foundations are almost a little bit too light. So I might need to start mixing just because I have not been out in the sun as much as I'll had been like over the summer I mean I know it's still summer but it's like the beginning of the summer I was outside a lot more vacations going to the pool and I'm using the Morphe M530 to blend out this bronzer I just love the smell of this physician's formula butter bronzer it smells so good so tropical and as you can tell, I'm into like that beachy, boho, <laughs> tropical vibe, so it fits. And I will have links to all of like my jewelry down below if you're curious about anything, and also like my shirt. So just check out the links down there. And you know, I also have like my nail polish listed. I'm trying to start to list those items as well as like you know the makeup products and stuff I'm using just because I get a lot of questions sometimes about you know like what what brand my necklace is or like where did I get it or like my shirt so just figured I'd start linking all of that for you guys I'm gonna take a little bit more of this bronzer here on my neck so see I feel like with that bronzer it kind of makes everything sort of work a little bit better together and I'm going to use a blush that I have not used in a hot minute but this is one of the Essence um, Pure Nude Baked Blush one of their baked blushes in Shimmering Rose like all of the writing has rubbed off of this and I'm just going to apply that with this Wet n Wild Angled Blush Brush such a pretty color especially with this eyeshadow palette. And it has like a built-in shimmer, so you can totally skip the highlights. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the eyes and for the inner corner, I'm gonna use this shimmery color. Just getting it on that e.l.f. defining eye brush. This is just going to add a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to set everything with my makeup setting spray. And I'm just going to be using the LA Girl setting spray. Then I'm just going to go ahead and curl up my eyelashes. Just using my Tarte eyelash curler. And for the mascara, you could use brown with this, but I kind of want to enhance like that purple kind of burgundy 
liner that I used because, you know, like once it, you get it on, it looks like a really dark brown shade. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Deep Burgundy. I just think that this would really enhance that burgundy kind of purplish color in the liner. So I'm just going to apply several coats of this to my upper and lower lashes. And this shade is so, so pretty. I think it looks gorgeous on any color eyes, but especially like brown, hazel, and green, it just really enhances the green. But I also feel like that burgundy color would help blue eyes to pop as well. So it's just all around a really beautiful shade for a mascara. And then I'm going to take off this lip moisture that I had on, a lip moisturizer. And since this eye look is really, you know, kind of minimal and more, I wouldn't say like supernatural, but it's like supernatural. <laughs> it's not like an extremely natural look, but I mean, it's a little bit more subdued than a really intense eye look. So you could definitely get away with wearing a darker lip color, but I still want to keep this look wearable. So I'm just going to go ahead and first line my lips with this Milani lip liner in the color Spice. And then for the lip color, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Fresh Clean Lip Balm in the color Life is Pink. which this is slightly like a little bit more of a brighter lip color. It's not too extremely bright, but honestly, you could go so many different ways with the lips. Like you could do this bright color like this, or I after I put this on, I thought of another color that would be really pretty with this look. So I have two other shades that I wanna share. And then you can let me know down in the comments like which of these colors you like best with this makeup look. So this shade from L'Oreal, this is one of their Color Riche lip colors in Ferris Nude. So this is like a little bit more of a nude lip with this eye look. So I think that is really pretty. It's a little bit more cool toned, the lips. And also I totally forgot to take this out of my hair because I wasn't gonna wear it clipped back even though that does look kind of cute. I just used the waver today and I just went for like beachy hair. Um, so yeah, that's Ferris Nude. And then this other lip color is from MAC and this is in the shade Modesty. It's also similar to Ferris Nude, but just like a little bit deeper and not quite, I don't feel like it's quite as cool toned, but maybe it's just cause it's a little bit deeper. I feel like it's like a little bit more neutral. And then <laughs> I did think of another color. I just saw it over here. It's like a slight, it's like a slight step up from Modesty. It's like a little darker. And this one's a matte shade. It's one of the cover, or not cover girl, it's one of the Maybelline um, Superstay matte crayons, I think. Ink crayons in Trust Your Gut. So that's what that shade looks like with this eye look. So you'll have to comment down below which one was your favorite with this makeup look. I think all of them look really good. And those last three that I put on the lips, they all look kind of similar. They're just like slightly like step up, like a step up from the previous color. But I think for me, I think this color is my favorite one with this look. So just let me know down below, but I hope that you guys are excited that I'm also going to be doing a tutorial series on this palette. I just don't feel that this one gets as much love as it deserves. It kind of gets forgotten about, but it's one of those hidden gems at the drugstore. So let me know maybe what combination you would like to see 
Like, I definitely want to do some more, like, glam, dark, smoky looks, but also some other, like, lighter, more wearable day-to-day -day looks. So, I hope that you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. You shouldn't doubt yourself, because you're a work of art.